Hello everyone. Come on in. When you get in here, say hi so I can know someone's there. Give me the a heart. Say hello. Tell me where you're from. Hi Jean. How are you? Hi Marsha. Welcome everybody. This is a perfect time for a break and I have got a super easy card that is extremely pretty, I think anyway. So let's see if we get a few more people in. Hi Madison. Hi Laura. Hi Bill. Hi Nancy. Happy Friday. Nancy, uh, this card that I'm making today, it totally reminds me of you. I'll have to tell you about that later. Hi, Mary Jo. Okay, let's get going. So, I do have a couple announcements. One is that our paper sale is going on 15% off DSP. There are nine selected ones. All of them are $11.50, so then with your 15% off, I don't know what it comes to, nine something, $9.78 it says, except for one, it's the In Good Taste, which is this like big bundle, and that one is on um, sale for $17.85. So this is like a super thick, in fact, I have it right here. This is like a double bundle and it's super thick and it has all the textures and textiles on it. Perfect. Okay. I do. I'm looking for some pearls who are interested in business building. If you have any desire to earn a little money on the side, you've got a creative touch. I'm going to help you get there. So join my team. And then also, just a reminder that I do have a perks program. So it's a loyalty program. And if you purchase from me, you end up, every $35 purchase gets banked away until you get all 10 of the letters of Piccadilly. And then you get a $25 shopping spree on me. So I hope everyone's been loving the annual catalog. I want to show you something. This set right here. Sweet Symmetry. Now this is a bundle set. You can get the punch, and let me grab that. The punch, um, symmetrical stems, no, symmetrical stems, yes. And um, also the stamp set, let me pull that out. And if you purchase them together, you do save um, 10%. So this bundle for this border or even accent, because I'm going to use this for accents, um, is $29.50, which is kind of a big deal, I think. I think that's a great uh, price point. This is a photopolymer stamp, which is my personal favorite these days. And then the other thing that we're going to be using, and I don't know if you guys have noticed in the back of your book, there is a die set called Basic Borders. Now let me pull that out too. So this is what it comes like. It has all these different shaped dies on here that you can cut out for edging. And actually, I have somewhere in my pile a, here we go. This kind of shows how these, um, Cut out so got a few different borders now we're going to be using this one here today and I want to show you a trick with it because there is a there is a little bit of a trick um, with these so let's get started right away on that all right pulling out my card pack also there is a paper pack that goes with this set. You'll find it in um, the DSPs. It is the, you know what? Let's look. Sweet Symmetry. So it's a 12 by 12 pack and I have, this is one of them that's on sale right now. And I have, this is a six by six pack, but I have a 12 by 12 coming because I've got some really cute stuff coming out with this. So it's got designs on one side and then kind of background stamping on the other and it's all symmetrical. So it's really, really cute. 
the color combo is amazing in this. Let me pull out the stamps and we'll get going. All right, I said that there was a trick to the dies, and there is. So let me pull this out, stamp pack out. So when you have your piece of paper, now I have cut this at three and a half by five and a half. When you have your piece of paper, if you don't have this on straight, if you're looking for a straight edge across here, it will get kind of wonky. So my suggestion would be to put it on what looks straight to you. And I want you to pay attention that one side's a little longer than the other so that you can get this on here. Would help if I put it on the grid, right? That's what it's there for. Okay, the way you want. So for me, <clears throat> just eyeballing it, this looks even. Then I'm going to use a piece of washi tape or repositional tape. And then when you run it through, and I'm just gonna pull out my, my set here. Instead of running it through this way, you get a much better cut if you run it through on your sandwich this way. Now this is what happens. I'm gonna leave that on there because I'm gonna make another one. So this is what happens. And it's, you know, again, it's kind of an eyeball situation, but there is a difference in those dies on that side. So to get it right, I think it goes better through the machine if you run it this way, okay? All right, so that what, I, again, this was cut at three and a half by five and a half. Let's bring out a card base. This is just jade. Got a couple of them over there. I'm gonna make a few of these. I think they're super cute. And I'm always looking for thank you cards. Okay. And then I have a piece of that um, Sweet Symmetry 12 by 12 paper that I was talking about. Now I have cut this down at two inches and then I have it at five and a half. Sometimes I usually, um, you know, do that little edge on there, but for this one, I'm not. I want it to go all the way across. For those of you who follow me, you know how much I like that little bit of a border, but I'm not going to on this one. Now, I want this to just hug right down to the bottom of the card. like so okay so super simple right brand new people can do this let's do a little stamping we're gonna stamp on this cute little stitched scalloped edge isn't this cute I love it now the color combination that I chose was kind of following the paper so I have the big um, um, let me pull out the stamp not the biggest flower not the tulip flower but the symmetrical flower, I mean, it is exactly symmetrical. So I have this one, and then I also have this little bitty one, and then um, the leaves, okay? That's what we're gonna be using to stamp. And then I'm also gonna put the thanks so much on here. So to start it off, I'm gonna pull out, this is Bumblebee, Just Jade, and Calypso Coral, just following the colors that are in the paper. Okay, and then I will need Knight of Navy also, so I might as well get it out now. So to start, I'm just gonna start off to, and you can do either side, whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna start off to the left-hand side, and I always preach about having a scrap piece of paper, so where was mine, right? I always like to try my stamps, make sure. And I find that if you stamp on the stamp and pierce mat on photopolymer, you get a little bit better image. So I'm gonna start here. Let's see, how big is that? Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to go around that flower with a little coastal cabana and I want that a little darker. Just right up to it. like so, okay? And then I want to grab, here they are. This is the Just Jade, and Just Jade is quite a um, rich color, but I'm gonna stamp it once full color, turn, and stamp again, okay? So that it, it stamps off and it gives that and let's see, we'll do it here. I'm trying to kind of keep it symmetrical since that is what the stamp is. They have another one that goes a little bit different. There we go. So I'm gonna pull this one in here. Cute, right? Cute, cute. Now let's go and decorate with this small one again. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now, with the Knight of Navy, I'm gonna put the sentiment on here. And you can uh, place this anywhere you want to on the card but I think I'm gonna go kind of down here on the lower thanks so much so this is all the colors in this card stock now I'm gonna use the Tombow Liquid Glue, this is my absolute favorite, and I'm gonna adhere this down. Now you, I should have probably checked before I did this, but I did kind of measure, so I kind of have an idea. Yeah, this is gonna work. So three and a half really does work for that measurement, but if you just cut off um, the end of your paper, isn't this pretty so far? Look at that. This is just gorgeous. It looks like a million bucks, but it's just simple as can be. Um, what I was trying to say is once you cut a sheet of uh, basic white in half, you can just run it through like this. But if you cut it, the, the smaller version, like I said, at, at the three and a half, then you're able to run it through the platform this way. So definitely cut it and three and a half is a good one with the two inch border here because that definitely shows the DSP and also um, the beautiful image now to finish this off I don't think this needs much this is one of my simpler cards I'm gonna use the beautiful uh, champagne rhinestones just in the center of the largest flowers I wanted to call them daisies earlier, but they're not really daisies. So, kind of an abstract flower, because there isn't a flower that grows like this. But, oh my gosh, I love the negative space in the card. I love how it is still symmetrical, only offset. You know, it's just, I think it gives that symmetrical pattern kind of a little balance. It's so beautiful. Now, if you wanted to, you could do some bows. You maybe even can try some Baker's twine if it just feels too off to you. But for me, I think this is absolutely gorgeous, just like it is. So simple, so quick, and it gets me back to stamping, which is what I really love. Sometimes I just use DSP and I, I stamp a sentiment or something, but this just gets me right back to stamping. So, if you are interested in purchasing any of these products, you can do so right on my website. If you're watching me right now on Facebook. It's just the um, blue button at the top that says shop now. 
or if you're watching me later in on YouTube, I will post a link to it. This is my current host code. It's a brand new one, so please use that host code. And like I said, this DSP is on sale right now, so it's a good time to stock up and save. I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. For the Americans that are watching, sometimes I'll get people from other countries, but for the Americans that are watching, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Everyone stay safe. Happy Friday, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.